Okay, what we did is we ran all the way down river to what is called the Niagara Bar. And that is at um, the mouth of the Niagara River where it dumps into Lake Ontario. And what the Niagara Bar is, it's, uh, it's a big sandbar. Um, where the current comes out of the river, where it first comes out, um, it drops off to 70 feet. And then as you progress up onto the bar, uh, you come up a big ledge and it comes up to uh, the top of the sandbar, which is about approximately 25 feet deep on top of what we call the flat. All right, got our first fish on. One. Got a number 10 hook on there, same thing, real light rig. What do you think it is? I'm thinking it's a lake trout. I mean, I'd love it to be a big giant brown trout, but... Have you seen it, John? Not yet. You got a double. Oh, there it is. I think it's a Canadian coho. Lake trout. Lake trout. Lake trout. Yeah, you're in a hit Oh yeah, it's a way to start it off. Go, way to start it. <clears throat> All right, got a nice laker here on the first drift of the morning on the fire dive minnow. Took it probably within two minutes. We're gonna get them back. Oh, this is gonna be an awesome day. These were dipped fresh yesterday. They're a combination of emerald shiners and spot tail shiners. And uh, right now the river's loaded with minnows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to tilt the scales in our favor. We're gonna dye them up with some chartreuse fire dye and uh, it should be the ticket for catching those trout out on the bar. It's real simple what we're doing here. We're taking one bottle of the chartreuse fire dye and we're going to put it into a container. To that we're going to add three bottles of the river water. Now normally when you do this you have to have an aerator because you're putting a dozen or so minnows into a container, that's three bottles, into a container with not a lot of water. But in this case, our water's in the 30s right now, so we don't need the aerator. So we're gonna dip down in here, and there you have uh, emerald shiners and a couple spot tails in there. So we're gonna put a few, about a dozen of these right into the fire dye solution and what we'll do is you can use this solution over and over again so what we're gonna do is it's gonna take about a 10-15 minute ride down river and those are gonna be completely dyed when we get there we'll uh, drain them off put them back in the bucket and hopefully catch some big lake trout out walleye is that a brown trout a little brownie. That is a that is a, a micro brownie. Next, <laughs> man, I don't even know what if we need it? the no, net. It's no, it's a little salmon. <clears throat> I don't know. No, 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 it's a little brownie. What the? <laughs> no way. All right, well, I got a little brown trout, but hey, he hit pretty good. We're having fun out here. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna keep getting them. Got a screamer on oh, here, baby. <laughs> that might be the king you were looking for that just by be accident. King, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. That is a that is a fish, right? Oh yeah. It's only eight pounds, so take it easy. Let me know if I got a back. We might have to chase it. <laughs> Are you gonna make a call? What it is? I don't think it's a lake. You don't think it's a lake? I don't think it's a lake. But it is a softball fight. Oh, we're out of line, Ted. We're out of line. We're out of line. We gotta chase it. We gotta. <laughs> Are we good? Are you gaining? We're good. Yep. Gaining. Ooh. We're gaining. Hello, chartreuse minnows. You just got bit. Woo! So we're we're out here on the Niagara Bar today, and uh, we we booked a steelhead trip with Ted. But I said, hey, the winds are good. Let's get out on the bar. Uh, we always wanted to do this, but the weather for literally almost 15 years now has never cooperated with us. So we're hoping Kyle has got a special Niagara Bar fish. Taking up the down, it's like, like a <laughs> what, what, what do you think it is? Um, uh, I'm looking. 
Big lake trout, maybe. Big laker? Big laker. If it's a laker, it ran, boy. Oh, it ran, It All ran right, like hey. no laker has run before. Most people say lake trout don't fight at all, but out here on the bar with light tackle like this, it's a blast. Well, like I've told you, I have my clients that come specifically to catch these because they fight so hard. Yeah, we might get to see them. Oh, we got him. We got him. That is a big lake trout right there. <clears throat> out here with Captain Ted Kessler today fishing the Niagara Bar. Got a beautiful lake trout. Gave me one heck of a fight. Uh, peel in line, great fight. Chartreuse fire dive metal. We're gonna get him going back in the water and catch a couple more out here today. Okay, so here is the basic rig that we are using on the Niagara Bar. Um, well, we'll start out with the reel. Uh, we're using uh, what we call medium-sized spinning reel on the rod, uh, medium seven to seven and a half foot with a fast tip. On the reel, I myself prefer a braided line. Um, this is 10 pound nano fill. Then we go down to the business end here. Line up. And we are tying to uh, a T-swivel or three-way swivel. This tends to be a T-swivel. Um, that's going to your braid. Uh, as far as a weight, we're dropping about six, eight inches of 10-pound monofilament to a pencil lead. Uh, I tend to like using about an ounce to an ounce and a quarter, depending on how, uh, how rough it is out on the bar or how much current is flowing that day. And then, because our water is generally very clear here, I run a, approximately a six foot fluorocarbon leader down to a number eight, either octop octopus style or sickle style hook. And again, real simple rig. You can use it for everything in the Western New York region. Works really, really well for fishing those fire dye minnows that we were using today. Since you are in the open waters of Lake Ontario, you have to have the correct wind. Um, basically a nice light south breeze blowing offshore, it keeps it nice and calm. Um, anything hard out of the east or west will make it really rough and unfishable out there. Um, what we primarily targeted out there today was lake trout, which are in season right now. Um, and basically what those fish are doing is they're staging in there um, and feeding on the bait fish that are there, which are aloe smelt, and emerald shiners. Those are the primary bait fish that are in there. But there is also a chance uh, this time of year you can get some nice brown trout out there, occasional steelhead, um, even um, uh, king salmon this time of year, which you don't see a lot of them in the winter time, but there was actually one caught out in another boat out there today. All right, so you guys are seeing exactly what we've done today. These are chartreuse fire dye minnows. And if you listen to Ted and you do the exact same thing he did and follow the instructions on the bottle, they're gonna look like that every single time. Now, what we've done here is we've taken one out of that, we've put them in here, so you can see the difference between a chartreuse one and a regular one. Clearly, the chartreuse one stands out amongst all the other minnows, which is probably why we've had such a great day fishing today. Well, we got one on here again, another fire die. It's coming up quick. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it's a brown. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome! If it was a brown, your one <laughs> fish laughing. today. Yeah. Finally, I grab a fish. rod. <clears throat> but these fish are just really keyed in on this fire day again. How can you not have fun on light tackle like this? Oh, like we were saying before, you know, so many people have told me lake trout, lake trout are fun to catch. Happen there? Hey, this one over there. They say lake trout aren't fun to catch. Will you come and you fish them in 34 degree water? On a light spinning, a light spinning rod, 10 pound test, and they just battle something unbelievable. Oh, it's getting close. Yep, another lake trout. Another lake trout. Head first, John. There you go. Nice job, John. Well, here we are. Another, what we'd say average, Lake Ontario Niagara Bar lake trout. I finally got to reel one in. Imagine that. Today's episode of Plastic Outdoors comes to you from the beautiful Niagara Bar. Well, to be honest with you, in almost 15 years of coming to film Plastic Outdoors here in Western New York, we've never had a chance to come out to the bar before. You know, we got close to the bar once. Uh, however, the wind picked up and we just weren't able to get out there. 
Somehow, the weather lined up for us this time, and boy, were we happy it did. We went out there today with Ted Kessler of River Master Charters. He's been one of our pro staffers for over a decade. You know, we've had a great time going out and fishing with him on the Lower Niagara River many, many, many times. This was the first time we've ever made it out on the Niagara Bar. Sure enough, it was a treat. Now remember, this is winter time. There's different species on the bar throughout the year. We started in Lewiston, New York, basically flew all the way down river, and we went right past the fort, right past the Coast Guard station, in the middle of, oh, there were probably a dozen boats out there with us today, and boy, did we have a great time. Now, we only used one bait today. Uh, we used live chartreuse fire diamond, as you guys saw exactly what Ted did. Follow those instructions, it'll work every time. Those of you that just poured in a five gallon bucket, you're gonna dilute the solution, it's not gonna work. Now, almost every fish today was a lake trout, and we didn't catch any small ones. They were all beautiful lake trout. We did catch one small brown trout. Other than that, it was a lake trout fest. And we came out here and caught one on almost every single drift. It was a great time to be here in the greater Niagara Falls area. We were joined by Canadians on one side, Americans where we were. Everybody was having a good time smiling and catching trout. We'll be back again. And hopefully next time, there'll be other species on the bar. But boy, are we excited we got to experience it this time. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.